Hey guys, welcome back. So, what baffles me, and I would like to discuss this for today, and sorry this video is going to come out late today, it's already, well, with the new time, because the time changed on Sunday, you, in case you guys didn't know that. It is, currently, right now, it is 4.33, turning 4.34 here in Athens, Greece. PM, of course, not AM. I usually do my videos in the morning when I, while I'm still working, because I get my inspiration at that time. Right now, it is... Monday, the 20th of October, 2024, and it's four, 1,600 hours and 33 minutes going 34. So, so that's 4.33 p.m. I don't want to confuse you guys. Now, what I find to be absolutely baffling is the fact that people love to cheat in this game in any way, shape, or form. And having said that, we can easily see that this trend of cheating in order to make the game, I don't know, maybe easier on you guys because you guys are too lazy to grind the tanks or even get the reward tanks. You love to get good results because you guys are victims of, you know, W and 8, win rate, marks of excellence, etc, etc. Of course, at tier 4, this is not the case. But guys, look at this. We have a platoon of AFKers. A platoon. So, what I would like to suggest, I've already watched this before, the player, he did okay, he went with his tier 5, tier 5, right, tier 5, I believe it's a heavy, VK3001, whatever, I'm sorry, buddy, I didn't mention your name, Reiner, Reiner what, what's your, what's your nickname again, um, Reiner Hohen, Reiner Hohen, yeah, Okay, so, this gentleman sent me this replay, and he explained to me, right, Felicia, and buddy, I hope you don't mind me saying this, that he has never spent a single cent on this game. And I, I responded to the email, I told him, kudos to you. You have the right to do that. He's a 100% he's a free-to-play player. He's having a fight there with the Jihei and the Skoda, okay, whatever. No one else went to that flank, okay? He's not going to have the best of games, but this is not the issue. The issue is that, look what's happening up there on the teams. We have a total of three platoons in this game. And they are all tier four. One platoon, as you can see right here, the Valentine anti-tank. I believe AT stands for anti-tank. And the B1. French Tier 4 Tech 3 Heavy Tank with a nice camo. This is a cool camo from the loot box effect, the uh, event, whatever. And this is the historical British camo. So these are not just uh, people who just got the tanks and they just use them, you know, as they are. Because this, th th these, these accounts most likely sometime belong to someone this is a theory that i have belong to someone this person stopped playing gave the account to his younger brother or his account got hacked at some point because we know the reason i already mentioned that what replays is a very dangerous site and i feel sorry for people who upload the replays i've said it again and again and again and yet i see and this saddens me this saddens my heart i see my friends and my subscribers sending me replays from what replays? Guys, it's been hacked. The database has been hacked. And this is how riggers and cheaters and boosting companies got their hands on these dormant accounts which were left, I mean, untouched for years. The other day I saw this account who hadn't played in like, what, at least three years? And suddenly he appeared and his account was used in game rigging. If you go back to my series, this is going to be, what, like, uh, uh, let me check something very quickly on my notes here. I have notes on a special tab. Yeah, this is going to be my 31st episode of Game Rigging Cheaters. And yes, these are Game Rigging Cheaters. Now, I want you to notice something. The other two platoons have not been spotted yet. The, which is the two T-28s platoon, platoon number two. The T6 medium, okay, there you go. He just got spotted right over there at um, nine uh, D9 over there on the on that little hill. 
and he just got taken out because he probably fired and he didn't he didn't bush himself i'm assuming um and the martyr 3080 you might say Oh, what are the global? Oh, Zach, but that's a tank destroyer. He has to remain hidden. Okay, no worries. Uh, don't you find it strange that a platoon of two tier of tier four T twenty eight tech tree tanks haven't been spotted yet? And I want you just to pay close attention because I cannot right now. I cannot show you anything else because they haven't been spotted yet so what am i going to show you this is what i can show you there these two these two mofos so uh, uh, l l l let's let's pause it right there did you guys notice what just happened one t28 got a kill which means that he's playing with a medium tank, and it's been almost six minutes look at the time 0916 the round begins at 09, excuse me, 14.59. That's hit play. Maybe they're very good at hiding. They like to camp at the back and shoot. All the time? They don't get spotted all the time? Really? There, there you go. There's one of them. Finally. He got spotted by either the Jackson or the, or the Easy 8 or... What's the other guy over there? I don't think we can see him. No, we can't see him. We can't. We can see until the Jackson, because that is where the VK's render range ends, unfortunately. So we cannot see what's going on where that SU-8 just got spotted and he just took out the M7. Unfortunately, we cannot see that. This is something that not even the free camera could help me. If the game mechanic had been designed in a way that the free camera could go everywhere and look at everything, that would have been fantastic. So one T-28 got spotted here. The Martyr got spotted. Okay, maybe the Martyr and the T6 medium that got uh, killed right away, maybe they're not riggers. What I find really strange and quite interesting is that the T28s are over here. You cannot see them, but you can see where the camera is flying over there. You see it over there? They're out of render range, I repeat. So, they took out the Easy 8 They're going to go stealth in the next 10 seconds. And let me fast forward this. Um, the only ones who are playing are the M10 RBFM and our hero. And our hero is right now not going to have a very nice uh, time because this Skoda T25 is zeroing in on him. And he's going to have a little bit, a little bit of a misplay here. He, uh, he spotted the Skoda, but he, um, he didn't react or he probably just thought let's run away okay i don't know what the strategy is on this one but okay now he comes here look at these guys and they appear where do they appear they appear right over here now the skoda is shooting him on spot oh there he is uh trying to shoot this guy and he gets killed i took him out and now, the Skoda took out the Valentine AT to the dismay of um, uh, our hero. There you go. And of course, they're going to go farm the AFK players. The M10 RBFM, there's nothing he can do by himself. Well, maybe he could have killed that uh, Skoda T25, but no. I mean, it was it was one against uh, at least four. The Basoto, maybe he wasn't even anywhere close. So, here's the question that I would like to pose. And to the riggers and the cheaters, the, one who use, uh, the ones who use bots, AFK rigging, game rigging, illegal aim bots. Well, I guess that's it. Let's go, let's go again from the beginning. The ones who use illegal mods and the ones who game rig game rig the games like this either with afk players or they go to a certain location they sit sideways and you know they get farmed but those are even more obvious if you think about it here's a question which one of you 
has the cojones, you know what that means, look it up if you don't know, has the courage to come forward and talk to me live. I'm going to record it, of course. I'm going to, I'm going to post it for everyone to see. Let me know, why do you guys actually cheat? What do you get out of it? What's the reason? What is the mentality? Come and tell me. You can hide your face. You can hide your username. You don't have to tell us your name, your real name or your username or whatever. I will invite you to a special platform where it's going to be recorded. I can't remember the name of the platform, but I'm going to remember it and leave it in the description below. Or I'm just going to... We shall see. I'll see, I'll see how I'm going to do it. And come, let us talk. Let us talk man to man. I just want to know the mentality behind how you cheaters think exactly. I want you to be honest. I want you to have the courage. Come and talk to me. And maybe, maybe we could understand, at least understand, if not follow your mentality. Maybe you would understand why you guys actually cheat. Is it because the W Nate is killing you? The idea is killing you? Is it because you want to show off to your friends? Is it because... You want to get the tans and Wargaming has made it too hard? Is it because of Marks of Excellence? Is, is any of these number of reasons. Why? Why? I just want to know why. Is it because the game is too hard as it is vanilla? That's why you guys have all these weird mods and whatever. Let me know. In the meantime, um, let me see if these accounts are throwaway accounts. Oh, excuse me. And here is what I find shocking. The first guy, the B1, who goes by the name Gardos V, is actually a good player with a W net of 1520.5, win rate 54.14. And as you can see here on Tomato GG, his recent win rate is 58.99. Recent win W net one th almost 1600. Yeah, sorry about those advertisements. If you have any kids, I am I apologize. There's nothing I can do. Let's check out the next guys. Red Red 8, aka the Valentine Anti-Tank or AT, call it whatever you want, is seems like a fairly regular player. Not exactly Unicom. But he has a recent win rate of 16.91 and a recent double eight of 1680. What happened there? I wonder what happened. Next guy, T28, Avant Garde underscore Ita, probably Italian, you know, makes sense, you know, Ita, Italian, from the F slash 165 clan, um, is a, quite a, quite an okay player, above, ab above average player, we could say, 1485, is not bad, recent win rate 5209, recent W8 1612. And last but not least, the E E E underscore Stikazi. Yeah, that sounds Italian, definitely. Is a below average W N A player, six hundred and sixty two point three. Now there's something wrong with Tomato G for some reason. Ah, let's try and refresh this. F five, and Tomato G says nope for some reason. Okay, so I mean, you guys, let me know what you think. Um, could this be um, truly game rigging? We'll let Wargaming decide. So, my dear friend, send a ticket to Wargaming unless you've already done so. Let them know of this incident and uh, let them investigate, okay? This battle took place. Let me show you guys in case you didn't see it before. On the 20th of October, 2024, that was eight days ago, at 1900 hours and 27 minutes, that's 727 p.m. in the afternoon. Well, at that time, it's nighttime because now we're in winter. Okay, guys. I, um, says over here, this looks like another little rigged game, doesn't it? Eh, could be. Could be not. We shall see. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you're a legend. If you haven't, eh, you're the one who loses.
Don't forget to comment below. Let me know your opinion. And I'll catch you on the next one. You guys are awesome. And shout out to the members, of course, who are the best. Bye-bye.